welcome to Silly's Technique Vlog. Um, I'm talking about teeping as a southpaw against orthodox. Um, so if you are southpaw and you're facing orthodox, you guys are front side to front side, which makes this front teep super difficult. Um, one of the reasons it's super difficult is it's actually really risky because if you teep and someone catches your teep, their power side is launching right into your now super open side. <laughs> Because if you're standing like this with your leg caught, all of this is super, super open. But the teep is like the electric fence of Muay Thai, is what uh, Master K used to tell me. And in the rock, paper, scissors game, everything loses to teep because it's this far away weapon that just keeps people off balance. So you want to be able to teep as southpaw against orthodox and vice versa because you're matching up stances like this but I'm gonna be talking about it from Southpaw because that's how my trainers have been talking to me about it. Um, so what's kind of interesting is if you, if you just wanna look at how people generally would use like a front teeth to close their distance in. If this gets caught, you can see how open all of this is, especially because people tend to kind of be a little bit lazy with their arms on the teeth. And so this can just come straight in here. Um, so when I was working with Ajahn Surat, who trains the Thai national team, he was like, just don't teep with your front side at all. But he gave me this crazy, powerful, jumping rear teep. What's also really cool about that is, again, if I'm southpaw and I'm facing someone orthodox, we have our front legs facing each other. If I'm going to be teeping with my back power side and it's going to be coming forward like this, it's coming into someone's open side. So if I get this nice, big, flat target to land my teep on, 